Citrus Height couple says that the mistake on a driving record is keeping him from getting a job. And when they couldn't get it fixed, it was time to call Curtis. Well, this couple has been in the U.S. only for a couple of years, but it was critical their problem get resolved quickly. We feel insecure. We don't know are we going to be able to pay all our bills monthly. The near future is worrisome. Beestra and Svetlin Svetkov are worried about their future. Svetlin has a small legal matter hanging over his head, and they've done all they can do. To prove that he is innocent and to prove that this is a horrible mistake. Time is ticking. They're at the end of their rope and say we are their last hope. We discovered this problem in 28th of January. They were changing insurance companies when a check of their driving records revealed one big point. It shows Svetlin had failed to obey a red signal light in Indio County back in May of 2008. But we never been to India, actually. Since coming to the U.S. from Bulgaria four years ago, they've lived here in Citrus Heights. But the DMV records show the owner of the car cited lives in Southern California. It's also not the car Svetlin drove. But his name is almost identical to the other driver's name, except for the middle. My husband's name is Gachev, the other guy is Tornev. Bistro thinks that's where the problem lies. I believe that this is a, just a human error. They entered the violation on my husband's record. Bistro says they've called and gone to the DMV, sent letters to Indio Superior Court proving her husband wasn't there the day the ticket was issued. He was here in Alberta buying supplies for a fishing trip to Folsom Lake that day. But nothing they've tried has worked to clear his name. Beastra blames that in part to a language barrier. So it's really hard for us to try to explain what is exactly the problem. That blemish on his driving record is keeping Svetlin, a truck driver, from getting a job. Not even for pizza delivery. He never gonna find a job. We never gonna be live normal life because uh, with only one salary, it's very hard to survive. Too much longer, and they may face losing their apartment. We sent their documentation to the DMV and explained the urgency. The DMV opened an investigation and in three days had a resolution. They said Svetlin's problem has been resolved. The point has been taken off his record. They claim this came as a result of Svetlin's letter to the Indio judge. Whatever the reason, it's done. His driving record went from showing a violation to showing none. And now he could go get that job and forget about all this stress. Why we have to go through all this nightmare to fix somebody else's mistakes? That is a great question. We've told you about checking your credit report because many of us have mistakes on our credit reports. Well, you just might want to check your driving record, too. And you can do so right on the DMV's website, although it's going to cost you two bucks. We're going to link you there from the Call Curtis Facebook page. And so uh, what if you do that and then you find out, oh, there's a mistake? You know, it's not easy to figure out who mm. made the mistake. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult to do. We've done these stories in the past, and sometimes you have agencies pointing fingers at agencies. At one point, yeah, one story, we had four agencies pointing at each other and we had to get involved to figure out who it was but if you get that driving record you can at least look on there see who put that ticket on there and you mm. have a launching point right there okay what a mess yeah. yes sir all right if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve maybe we can you could call our hotline Monday through Friday or you could always go to our website and fill out our form